Hey guys, today we were building this DRXT M735 rear derailleur. This applies to all the 730 series, so the TM730, the 732, and the 735. Those three generations have very few changes, except the 730 is 6 speed and the 732 and 35 are 7 speed. And in my case, here I have a 735. And some tools you're going to need are a screwdriver, a pick, some Allen keys, and some pliers. All right, with the easy part out of the way, let's go do the springs. So first for the B-spring, pull back the cage and unscrew that little pin. Now the cage is gonna spring back all the way around and unscrew that screw. And now the cage pops off. Just like that. All right, now for the P-spring, you just wanna get out your pick and pop off this little clip. Now you wanna pull the steel tab towards you so it goes over this little ridge here. If it's stuck, remember, you can always just use your pick to kinda of right back and it pops out just like that. And then just slide out the bolt. And if you want to take off this little plastic washer here, you can just be very careful. Just push with your thumb up and over just super slowly. You don't have to do it. It's pretty risky, but yeah, if you want to, you can. All right, now this derailleur is fully taken apart and it is time to clean. You can use some cleaner or degreaser. Just make sure to stay away from the plastic parts if you're using something harsh like brake cleaner. And remember, if anything is rusty, make sure to clean it off first before using a vapor rust or a metal rescue. Also, if you're wondering what this little screw is here, that is to adjust the cable tension, and there are only two settings, so don't keep turning it. It's not gonna do anything. There's just softer and harder. All right, and after giving the parts a little bit of a brush down, all I'm using is this ultrasonic cleaner, and I'm using some water and dish soap. Alright, with all the parts nice and cleaned down, I also gave some of the chrome parts a wax with some of this quick glow. And for the aluminum polishing, all I did is use some of this autosol. And here's some before and afters. Here's the after and the before. It looks pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it like this. You could also use a rotary tool, but yeah, I think this is good enough. Alright, so after it's all polished up, another thing you're going to need for the assembly is grease. And if you're scared of getting grease on your parallelogram, you can just polish it after you put it together. All right, first step is greasing up the spring housing. And make sure your seal is there on the other side, and then grab your bolt and insert it in. All right, now grab your small spring, and you, as you can see, there's one end that's flush and one end that's slightly recessed in. You want to get the end that's flush, which is this side, and put it in the hole. And then don't forget your little plastic seal and put it on. Now grab your retaining ring, put the spring in the hole, and then you wanna rotate this tab all the way around here. And for that, I like to use a pair of pliers. Just grab on to this little tab and rotate it. All right, so once you do get the tab in position, grab your little clip and put it on. All right, now screw in your B-limit screw and then do the same thing, grease up the inside and the outside of the B-knuckle. All right, then you get your plastic seal. You wanna put it on and make sure it's under that little golden washer. All right, now you wanna get your spring out and you wanna put it in one of these holes. This one right here is the tighter one and the one on the left is the looser one. Make sure you put the long end in and we're gonna go with the tighter one. 
All right, now when you put on the cage onto the binnacle, you wanna line up this little pin on the spring with that little hole right in there. That's when you know it's in. All right, now that you feel that the cage fully touches down like this with the parallelogram, you can grab your little bolt and screw it in. All right, so now your derailleur looks like this and you wanna twist the cage all the way around like this. Once you see the little hole, screw in the second pin. All right, now onto the pulleys. Grab your ceramic guide pulley, and you wanna, you wanna put just a little bit of grease on here. You can use like ceramic bearing grease, you can use normal grease, but I'm using some fork grease. It's a little bit thinner, so it'll act well and give this a really nice smooth feel. All right, then go ahead and put in the other ceramic bushing. And on the inside of the second ceramic bushing, you wanna put a little bit of normal grease, unlike the different grease you put in between the two ceramic bushings. All right, and then put these little seals on, make sure they face outward like this, and then grab the metal seals. And remember, don't put any grease on the actual seals. All it's gonna do is just attract more dirt and make more friction. All right, then go ahead and put all the Little bushings on and slide it on. Maybe yeah, just put a little bit of grease on the actual in, on the inside bushings. Don't put anything on the outside. That's never failed me. And the little metal seals are not designed to actually have friction. They just kind of sit there. They don't actually touch the pulley that much as you think they do. All right, and then screw on the cage. And then it's pretty much similar thing for the second pulley. Just use some normal grease for the inside of the plastic one and a little bit of grease on the inside of the metal one. All right, then screw on the pulley bolts, put on the clamp and the barrel adjuster, and then you got yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the tightness of the parallelogram spring. So this right here with the arrow facing up is the looser setting. And if you flip it over like this, you've got your tighter setting. Make sure to rotate it this direction like that, looser. And even tighter. This is a part definitely worth keeping alive. I'm sure it's one of the most bulletproof and reliable derailleurs ever made. So remember guys, if you have an old derailleur, don't replace it, just rebuild it. Don't be afraid to use these old parts. Thanks to anyone who subbed to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.